I have a lot of people ask me how to do the double swirl design, so I'm going to show you some easy techniques to accomplish it. Now there's two ways to make the swirl. You can either start off by holding your brush very straight, pulling, laying down flat and bringing around, or you can start at the opposite end, starting at the point, lay down, and pull backwards. Again, let's practice that. You can start with your brush very straight, pull, lay down flat, and curve, or you start at the curve, lay down flat, and pull. It's just like your teardrop design. So now I'm going to show you guys how to create the double swirl. You're going to start at the tip of your swirl and pull back and connect. Start at the tip of your swirl, pull back and connect. What you don't want to do is start at the tip of your swirl, bring this line up, and keep it going. In order to create that double swirl effect, you want to make sure that it connects at some point. So again, start at the tip, bring it back out, and connect. Another nice way to embellish this design is to add another color inside. You can just add it directly inside so that it looks like a colorful double swirl. You would just lay it down and cover that inside. So again, let's practice the double swirl design one more time. You can start at the tip, lay down, bring it back, start at the tip, pull, or start with your brush straight, twirl it, start at the tip, and pull back. And to keep on going and practice this stroke, you can start again at the top, make a swirl in the opposite direction, and pull it back. So keep on going with this design. Start at the top of the swirl, swirl it up, start again, and pull it back. Start at the top of the swirl, opposite direction, make a double swirl, and pull it back. Practice this design, because this design will help you do better face masks, better princesses, and make your designs flow better. There you go.